like a total cutie wearing his cute little crab hat. There's Jaden. There's a sport fest happening. Volleyball. Alright guys, here we go. We're looking good, looking good out there. Gotta hit, you can pop you out, you gotta, you gotta take it right there. Nice tape right over there. Wow. Come on, come on out. Zane is looking at everything. There's like a gigantic bouncy thing here. Oh, but I think I mean, Jaden and Zane are a little too little for it. Jaden and Zane are too little for this thing. Pretty cool though. You guys are playing for real over here. Look at this little crabby. Little crab baby. Nice job, Bob. I like how you did We're going to find a cool spot to set up all our things.
enjoying and having a great time. It is, yeah. It's so good, so nice. It's not that hot. No. And there's a nice breeze, so it feels good. 25 degrees Celsius. Wow, well, that was this morning. Probably warmer. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Yeah. But the breeze feels good. The kids are entertained, so it's good. We can just relax. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. They already ate some good lunch. We got lots of watermelon. And they were having a great time eating the watermelon. Oh, oh yeah, we do have one. A what? We do have a shake. It's here. A what? A shake. A bag. Yeah. Do we have more? I think just one. Yeah. Hey Are you having a great time? What are you doing, Jaden? Jaden? Today I'm finally gonna cook that dish that I'm It's garbanzo beans and I'm gonna show you how to prepare it, how to make the whole masala, that's what we call it, the base of the dish. And But first one of the things that you have to do is, I'm gonna show you guys, these are the beans, they're the garbanzo beans. You have to soak them overnight so they soften up a little bit. And then, today I put them in the pressure cooker with water. The water should cover them a good amount. So it's kind of like a soupy dish. And there's gonna be at least, I would say like 12 to 15 whistles in the pressure cooker. And while that's gonna happen, we're gonna prepare the base of the dish and i'm just getting it ready right now i'm grating the tomatoes i slice them up like this and then i grate it in the grater and i already diced up the onions they're right here 
and I'm gonna chop up some ginger and garlic and I'll show you what I do so I just put in some olive oil in the pan and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these seeds these are cumin seeds I'm gonna do like one teaspoon of cumin seeds and a little bit of these carom seeds and then I'm going to add some ginger and garlic that I minced and I grated it. I use this hand grater. I use this hand grater and this is like pretty awesome to grate the ginger with. And I just put that in in the pan right now. I'm just going to brown it a little bit. brown that and once that's brown I'm gonna add the onions here that I already chopped and you're gonna saute the onions wait for it to get brown and once that's brown that's when we're gonna add our tomato mix in here so sizzling Now I just added the onions. Okay, so once your onions are gonna look like this, kind of brownish, then is when you're gonna add this tomato, grated tomato here. And I'm gonna dump that. I'm making a super big batch of the base because what I do is I kind of do a few dishes then. So I'm gonna use half of this base to cook the garbanzo beans and then I'll still have leftover base that I will use for other dishes as well. That's what I do. And I don't have to redo this part because this is the part that takes most time and now you really want to just take your time to cook this over you know medium to low heat and then i will show you what spices we are going to add here i have them all kind of like lined up right here this is turmeric this is red chili the seeds that we already used this is um cilantro powder and this is the garam masala. So if you don't eat spicy, don't add the garam masala and the red chili or just add a very little. For the kids, for example, I will just add turmeric and the cilantro powder. I won't put any garam masala for them. And I pretty much, because I made a huge batch, I had like three to four tomatoes in here and then I had the big, really big onion I had one and a half of those. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. I just used a hand blender and I blended it so it looks more like a paste. And what I did was I just added salt and some turmeric in this mix. And I'm gonna take out a little bit aside for the kids. And then in the rest of it, I'm gonna add some red chili, some garam masala, That's Jaden in the background. Wow. He's having a soccer time. He's just playing soccer. Super excited. So I'm going to add some red chili and garam masala um, in our mix. So it's going to be spicy because me and Johnny like it spicy. And I'm literally just going to take this and mix it with the garbanzo beans that I already boiled there in here. And that's it guys, you just let it sit in and you have, in India we call it chole. So this is the garbanzo bean dish that you can eat with rice, maybe some yogurt and salad on the side. And this is the end result, this is how it's going to look like. Soupy garbanzo beans and you can eat that with rice on the side. 
and some salad and that's it so that's the dish another indian dish if you do try it let me know <laughs> what you guys think and yeah i'm gonna end this vlog right here have a great day god has blessed you <laughs>